We're really excited that um, Geometry Wars is back with Dimensions and it's a really big honour for us but it's going to be one of the first titles out on Sierra. It's a huge theme for us at Lucid Games, Geometry Wars is part of our, our DNA, part of our heritage. Uh, so we're really excited to work with someone as exciting and new as Sierra uh, and to show what we've been working on. Since the last version of Geometry Wars, there's been a new generation of games machines coming out and we really want to see where, using that power, we want to see where we could take the gameplay, make it push it even more forward, uh, and have some new surprises within the franchise. So we've got these new three-dimensional battle grids. We've got competitive multiplayer game modes for the first time. Uh, we've got a brand new cooperative multiplayer mode, and we've also brought back sort of key features like the drones and some really big, exciting power-ups as well. One of the really exciting new things with Dimensions is the gameplay is just on, on a plane now, it's a three-dimensional grid. We looked at the game and we wanted to make sure that the grid was the main enemy within the game, and it moves, and it warps, and it changes scene within some levels, and it just creates this new dynamic battlefield. You now can no longer always see the enemies because they cover the other side of the shape, You've got to think about uh, how to move the shape, what the best angles of attack are. So it, it really adds a huge tactical layer to the game that maybe wasn't in the previous versions of John Shields. One of the really exciting things we've now brought into Dimensions is a boss battle. Fans have always been asking for those. Rather than just having hundreds of these smaller shapes, you've now got these kind of big, badass levels to play against. And it really adds an extra tactical depth and a lot of variation to the player. They work very much almost at their own special levels. Uh, there's a lot of puzzles and sort of unique tricks to kill the boss uh, where different strategies and different gameplay tactics are really important as you're playing the game uh, to conquer the boss. Multiplayer is going to be awesome. It's just something people have asked for for years. It was never in the previous versions of Geometry Wars. It's great to get it in there. It adds a huge level of competitiveness between players. It's not just about leaderboards anymore. Now you can go head to head. So how it works very much, it's all about a long takedown. You're outsmarting your opponent or your team could be out and against another team and you could run different strategies to overall sort of conquer the grid. The player's going to have loads of different things to select to take into the battle with them. Different attack drones, different super powers they can take in with them. You can level them up, you can tailor them with their own special powers, you can drop them off almost like a gun emplacement in the corner taking out certain enemies. And again that level of choice for the player is unprecedented in the franchise but also it gives that level of versatility and variety that they wouldn't have seen previously. It's great to be back with Microsoft on Xbox 360 and Xbox One. But what's great is that we're also on PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4 as well as on PC. If you've been a fan of the previous games, you've got to play this game because we've just taken so many of the elements, we've pushed them for, we've turned it to 11. The action is more intense. It just takes all of these things and it just moves it much more forward. Once you've experienced the intense action, I'm sure you're going to love it.